Is Christopher Columbus to blame for bedbugs? Artica by Tulsa Bedbug Specialist. Some would say that Christopher Columbus discovered America. Some would say he didn't, but regardless of what he discovered, he brought over many items. Of those items, some may have been bedbugs. A letter from the Mayflower shipping crew had reported itchy skin, biting insects, and sightings of bugs as they slept on the ship to the New World. Bedbugs were common among Europe's colonies, although the name bedbug came centuries later. These new blood-sucking creatures were common among working-class citizens of the old country. Native Americans never incorporated the word pest into their languages until after the Mayflower and other ships arrived to the new land. In the book Studies in Insect Life and other essays suggest that parasites were passengers on the Mayflower. Simex, the Latin word for bedbugs, is particularly common in ships, especially emigrant ships, and although unknown to the aboriginal Indians of North America, it probably entered the continent with the best families in the Mayflower. Bedbugs and other parasites pests come along for the ride as well as lice and cockroaches. According to the book Insect Biodiversity, 13 different types of insects and parasites came from England. While it's probably hard to say Christopher Columbus is totally to blame for bringing over bedbugs, it's definitely feasible that while bringing over his crew, gifts and items along with them, hitchhikers such as bedbugs would be on board. Nevertheless, eventually somebody would have brought them. With today's cheap travel and the world economy, a bedbug epidemic was bound to happen, whether the Mayflower was the first ship to come or the last. Thanks for watching and listening. Please share this, and if you have any more questions, visit TulsaBedBugSpecialist.com.